great to see you. It's good to see you too. Is it? That's pickle week on Snowy. Is that what that is? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Is Would you nice? like one? No, I just got one a little bit on the kiss. Yeah. Oh, God, <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That was delicious. Let me, let me altoid up no, again. No, no, there no. There we go. No, Everything's was, fine. It was wonderful. How are you? I'm great. You're I'm very, great. very funny. Well, thank you. You are. You're so thank wonderful you. on the show. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. And it seems to be perfectly you. Are there a lot of similarities between you and the character? Because I don't really know you. You know, I thought that there weren't. I always thought I was playing a part. And I talked to a friend of mine from elementary school. Yeah. He called me up uh, last week. He said he'd been out of the country on business, and he hadn't seen the show. And he'd just come back in, and he saw the show, and he said, oh, it's so amazing. Because I said, you know, here's the little kid who used to wait on the corner for me with his book bag and, and, and go to school. And, and the great thing is the character is just like you were when you were a kid. <laughs> and I thought, well, now I have to go into therapy, because I had <laughs> no idea that I was anything like that. So I guess I'm Where did I'm you him. grow up? I grew up in upstate New York, Saratoga Springs. <laughs> Few people who knew. Yeah, yeah, home of uh, me. You. And, uh, and you, you live out in LA now? Uh, yes, I'm out in LA now. And how do you enjoy? It? You like New York better? Or six uh, yeah, I was here for a long time, uh, and I love New York, and it's it's great to come back because LA is is wonderful. And it's very relaxed and uh, spread out, but. I flew into JFK uh, beginning of the week, and you know, you, you get out and you walk into the baggage area of JFK, and it's like getting hit in the face with a shovel. Yeah. Just that New York energy that uh, that pops at you, and the fans are different here. It's I was I was in the in Soho walking down the street, and this very old woman and her very old woman friend were walking down the street. We were, they travel in pairs, and they uh, <laughs> and we're uh, passing each other, and she says, "Oh." I love you on your show. And I kept walking. I said, thank you very much. And she said, hey, stop. <laughs> and I stopped, and I, I went up to her. And I said, excuse me? And she said, I'm paying you a compliment. You should be glad I recognize your face. <laughs> and I said, well, thank you very much. And it's like you get complimented, and yet you feel like you've been mugged. It's all at the same time. <laughs> That's why I love I New love York. I love New York. There you go. Only in New York, right? <laughs> now, growing up in Saratoga Springs, mm -hmm. did you always have aspirations to be an actor? I had, weirdly, yeah. Weirdly? When I was little, I would write plays for myself in elementary school to do. And the thing was that I always died in the plays. That was the only thing that they had in common. I played Julius Caesar once, died. Played uh, John Dillinger, the gangster, died. And the main thing that I did was in my family home, yeah. which has a big staircase in the main hall, I would always, at least twice a day, get horribly killed at the, stop of the top of the staircase and fall all the way down it. And I was, you know, a little kid, and it drove my parents crazy. Yeah, you I know. imagine. Did you get injured? I, uh, well, now, of course, I can't walk from all those, <laughs> those times. But at the time, you know, I was little, and I bounced. But I remember one time in particular, my, uh, my sister was getting married, and her fiancé and his parents were over at the house. First time ever meeting my family, very proper Southerners. And my, they're all in the living room. And my mother's passing through the downstairs hall with a tray. And she looks up, and she sees me poised at the top of the stairs like this, because I'm in the middle, you know, of doing, the big having scene. been killed. And yeah. she looks at me and she says, if you fall down those stairs, you will not get a tuxedo to wear for the rehearsal dinner. <laughs> and I waited and she went into the living room and I thought, well, you know, it was such a good death scene. I got to, and I went down the stairs. <laughs> and I got to wear the tux anyway. You did. She, she you gave in, yeah. But. Now, you got all dressed up and spiffied up for Jane's wedding. I, uh, she was on the show. Yes. She told us that you were nearly killed. Well, you know, that, that story gets blown out of proportion a lot. What it was is a few of us from the cast went over for Jane's wedding to England, mm -hmm. and Jane tried to kill us. Really? That's, yeah, it's... Now, see, that's she, not how she presented it. No, well, no. she wouldn't, no. We now know. No, her mom had... It was a beautiful wedding. Yeah. Really elegant, as, of course, as Jane is. And her mom had rented these 1950s uh, Rolls-Royce limousines. Beautiful. And one of them had actually belonged to the Queen Mother, which was... It had the royal seal on it and everything, and that was the one I was riding in with the groom and some friends. And we get to the church, which is this beautiful little church on a hill, uh, and all the other limousines are parked at the bottom of the hill, and we drive up the hill, and we stop, and we're parked, sort of facing with our back end down the hill. And everyone gets out of the car, and I'm in the back seat looking for my gloves. And suddenly I hear from outside the car people saying, oh, oh my God, oh no, David, jump. <laughs> and I look up, and the car is rolling backwards down the hill. Everyone's at the driver's out, everyone's out, and I look behind me, and all the other limo drivers are by their vintage 1950s limousines, doing the Macaulay Culkin face, like, <laughs> as I'm... And I didn't know what to do, and I, you know, the car was picking up speed, and I finally, I jumped, 
and rolled and sort of did a tuck and hurt my ankle. And uh, the driver jumped in and, and p pulled the parking brake. Apparently, the parking brake on these cars, when the weight comes off the car and everyone gets out, the brake releases. So I now know why the Queen Mother no longer uses this car, because that's like <laughs> quite a way to have to arrive at the palace every day, you know. A lot of stress. For an older woman. That's yeah. Right, yeah. So. Now, congratulations on the Emmys. Is Thank that you. an overwhelming feeling for you? I mean, are you able to take it in? It's, it's hard to process uh, the show, except I love the show. I'm very proud of, of Frasier. It is and really a wonderful show. I think it's Quality great. Program. So I don't mind getting awards for it because I think it deserves it, frankly. Right. So uh, when they first said cool. your name, did you think, I can't believe it's me? Or were you like in a zone? I was in a zone. All the sound stops. It's yeah. like, ah, all you hear is, ha, and your heart beating, and you get up and you talk and your lips move and you have no idea what you're saying, and then you go away and you have a thing. And people you tell you. <laughs> put in your house. You did well. You know, you, I saw you on Broadway, as I mentioned, in the Heidi Chronicles. That's great. And you were wonderful in that. Oh, I love that play. Do you have a big yeah. theater background? I did, uh, yeah. I mean, I started out, as I said, dying in elementary school. Right. And uh, did a little bit of dying in New York theater as well. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I did a lot. I did a few, uh, few musicals, a few Shakespeare plays, stuff like that. And, uh, did I hear musicals? <laughs> Oh, Which ones? That was a mistake, wasn't it? I think I it is. That. A big error here on this Did show. Did I say musicals? Well, you may be forced to sing a little ditty. I, uh, well, I... Uh, yeah. See? The people enjoy it. The people enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you for your help. I, uh, what shows did well, you do? Well, you know what I did? I, well, I did uh, not very good shows, but I did actually write a musical yeah. in summer camp. Me and uh, Chuck Ehrenberg. Uh, no, Steve Ehrenberg, his older brother. Chuck Ehrenberg played Little Buttercup. Um, <laughs> The summer camp. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but we wrote a musical about Robin Hood, mm -hmm. uh, which was mainly uh, a big ripoff of a lot of other music. But we did have one original song, which was Robin Hood's big entrance, where he swings into the forest on a vine. And uh, he sang this thing. He was kind of an idiot. And, uh, the actor? Or? No, the actor was a consummate performer, but the oh, character, the character was, was a moron. Okay, yeah. just clearing it up. I think Go the ahead. actor was seven, so I don't know. He was, yeah. he, but it was, uh, he, he swings in, and he's swinging, singing to the village Village people. <laughs> no, they weren't there. Uh, <laughs> the villagers, and he's, it's, got, it's got kind of an oompa. Uh, uh, he sings, uh, I am the bravest outlaw the world has ever seen. I look somewhat like coleslaw, dressed in my suit of green. I fly from trees, I shoot the breeze with lark and duck and sparrow. I am the greatest archer to ever pluck an arrow. And the chorus sings, he is the greatest archer to ever pluck an arrow. Wait, let me do one more verse. Last verse, big finale. Okay. Mm -da, mm -da, mm. So if you are in trouble or feel at all oppressed, I'll be there on the double or quadruple at best. Well, maybe 15 minutes, at most a half an hour, unless, of course, you call me when I am in the shower. David Heisbeer. Delicious. You are delicious. Thank you. The big season finale tonight on yeah. Frasier. Watch it. NBC. Thank you very much Thanks. for being here. Good to be here. Good to see you again.